I'm Amy Cherry. Four men are arrested in separate instances of violent domestic assaults in Flagler County Monday. Raymond Amaro was handcuffed after deputies say he tried to strangle his wife because apparently the cable wasn't working. Deputies called it a four-hour ordeal that allegedly involved a gun. They say Amaro hit his wife over the head with the gun so hard she suffered a contusion. This isn't the first time police were called to that household. They say Amaro was charged with aggravated assault last year for allegedly hitting his wife over the head with a can of shaving cream after accusing her of having an affair. Years ago, he was also charged with domestic battery on his previous wife. On to the second case now. Quijon Laster of Benel is accused of using a stun gun against a woman who's pregnant with his child. The victim tells police Laster was upset that he'd lost money at the dog track when he assaulted her. Deputies say he had also previously texted her, quote, you gotta kill that baby inside you. In the third arrest Monday, Deputy say Andrew Krupp of Palm Coast was charged with burglary and assault in connection with a confrontation with his ex-girlfriend at a gas station. Lastly, Jacob Robertson of Flagler Beach was arrested for aggravated battery after allegedly taking a knife to another man while intoxicated. The victim ended up with a cut to the hand. Sheriff Rick Staley says the arrests underscore the need for his domestic violence task force. This portion of WNZF Local News, a service of the Daytona Beach International Airport. Fly to the Big Apple in a New York Minute on JetBlue from the Daytona Beach International Airport. Officers will come together to honor those who've died in the line of duty. Karen Johnson has a preview. The Flagler County Sheriff's Office is hosting the 2017 FCSO Law Enforcement Memorial Ceremony and Candlelight Vigil tonight to honor the five Flagler County deputies who've died between 1927 and 2011 while in service to the county. The event is scheduled to begin at 7.30 p.m. at the Kim C. Hammond Justice Center in Bunnell. Then a walk to the Sheriff's Operations Office on East Moody will begin at 7.45. Everyone is invited. The ceremony is family friendly. Karen Johnson, Flagler's Morning News. School officials approve the next superintendent's contract. Ben Smith has more. As expected, the Flagler County School Board approved a three-year contract for incoming superintendent James Tager, who begins his new role June 1st. The board voted unanimously on Tuesday. Tager's contract starts at $135,000 annually with some performance-based incentives available. One such incentive would pay Tager an additional $2,500 if graduation rates in Flagler County increase by 3% year over year. Outgoing Superintendent Jacob Oliva is headed to a state-level education position. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Ben Smith. Flagler schools consider relaxing rules on identification. Currently, students have to wear their IDs and ensure that they're visible at all times, but they're looking in instead to just allow students to carry them. The proposed change comes as too many students get written up and miss valuable class time for ID violations. Every write-up comes with about 15 minutes of missed class time, and with nearly 1,300 write-ups over the years, those minutes sure add up to 45 days of classroom instruction missed. The new policy proposal would allow students to keep their ID cards on them and present them upon request, or they could scan them onto their cell phones, because you can be sure that most students would never forget their cell phone at home. And now you're up to date. On Flagler's Morning News, I'm Amy Cherry.